Well, that's the last one. The tree is completely decorated. It looks beautiful, Sarah. The whole stable does. Yeah, I can't wait to see what presents I get this year. Teresa, Christmas isn't about what you get. It's about being with your family and friends. Everyone, I just got everything finalized for the Christmas Jimkaya event. Yay, I love those events. Me too, they're so much fun. Really, Jimkaya? It's Christmas, let's have something more proper, like dressage. But Teresa, have you even ever done it before? Well, no. You can't knock it till you try it. That's right, entry forms are up at the office. Okay, and thanks Adam, you always make everything so much fun for us. No problem. Well, I better get going. I have to bring in the mares and foals from pasture. Oh, well, I'll come help you, Adam. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Okay, see you, Adam. Leanna, we should go get our entry forms. Okay, come on, Teresa. Ugh. Okay, fine, but you're gonna have to show me how to do these events. Don't worry, we will. Now, now, boys, take it easy. We don't want no one getting hurt. <gasps> Jericho! Sparkles, look at that coat of yours just did to mine. Are you okay, sweetie? I'm fine, Mom. We're just playing. Well, you're not playing with him anymore. He's too rough. Now, wait one second. They were only being colts. My snowball is not too rough. Why don't you go play with Flax and Dusty, sweetheart? Ooh, I'll go with him. Absolutely not. I do not want my baby being picked on. Now, Minnie, they really were just being colts. Aw, it looks like pasture time's over already. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. Okay, bye everyone. Come on, Sparkle, let's get you to your stall. Snowball, come on, you silly colt. turn, Miss Flaxy. If only... Um, are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. Are you sure you can trust me? Well, I... I just wish I had a mom like all the other foals. It makes me sad sometimes. Oh, I know. You poor sweetie. We need to start practicing right away. Guys, wait for me. This is gonna be so fun, Stormy Girl. Oh, Toronto baby, please be a good girl today. <laughs> yeah, right. Tronta, will you be still so I can get your blanket off? Do you need some help, Teresa? I can handle my horse perfectly fine. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh my goodness. Ugh. Ugh. Naughty horse. <coughs> oh, you think it's funny. You guys don't have to wait for me. It might take me a little while to get tacked up. Okay, if you're sure you don't need any help. I already told you, I can handle my horse. Finally, where have you been? Ugh, I tried. First she wouldn't be still for me to put the saddle on, then she pretended to spook at the saddle, and then she wouldn't open her mouth for me to put the bit in. Wow, you need to do some training with your horse. I've been trying. 
Well, now that I'm here, you promised to show me how to do Jimkaya. Okay, well, we were just doing this event called Flag Race, but since the show's Christmas themed, instead of a flag, we're using a candy cane. Okay, so how do I do it? All you have to do is run down to the barrel, grab the candy cane, and run back. Ah, uh, are you kidding? That's so easy. Actually, it's harder than it sounds. <laughs> Lizzie, just watch me. Can you guys move your horses? Toronto Baby is going to totally rock this. Well, she's definitely got lots of confidence. Yeah, that's a good thing. Come on, baby, run like the wind. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, sweetheart, come on. Oh, well, okay, I'll walk. Um, Teresa, it's a timed event where the fastest person wins. Come on, you lazy horse. Lazy? Who is she calling lazy? How dare she? <gasps> Slow down! Grab the candy cane, Teresa. You're doing great. I can't! Are you okay? No, I'm not doing this. I can't. Yes, you can. We'll keep practicing. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not doing any more today. Oh, poor Teresa. I know. You are a bad girl today. Toronto, what did you do this time? <laughs> Everything. That's just terrible. Oh yes, isn't it? We'll have to figure out some way to help Teresa. I know, but in the meantime, we better go get our chores done. Okay, good idea. <gasps> it's snowing. <gasps> no, it's snowing. I don't want to melt. What's his problem? Who knows? Well, let's get started. There's a lot of paddocks to be mucked. You know, if Teresa could just get Tronta under control, they'd do so good because Tronta really is fast. I know. She'd have to do a lot of training, and I don't know if there's time. We have to help her try. Come on, Sparks. We're going to have a fun ride in the snow. Oh, no. It's still snowing. Come on. Let's get going. What is that? Dude, it's a snowman. I do not trust it. Easy, boy. It's okay. Don't worry, Alice. I'll save you. Whoa! Easy, boy! <gasps> Sparks is bowling with Alice! Whoa, it's okay, boy. Are you all right? What happened? We're fine now. Sparks just took a big spook at the snowman over there. Wow, I guess all the horses are just really frisky today. Yeah, cold weather can sure do that. Well, I think I'll walk him around a little bit. You know, just let him get used to the fresh snow. That's a good idea. And be careful. Don't worry, I will. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that tree. Why is it changing colors? Easy boy, you're fine. Come on. I do not trust it either. Uh, Teresa, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm just emailing my list to Santa. You know that you're supposed to be sweeping the barn. Yeah, well, Santa needs to know what I want for Christmas. I suggest you get sweeping. Ugh, fine. <gasps> Somebody messaged me. Teresa, finish the sweeping. But Adam, there's a message. Look at it when you're done. But what if Santa just emailed me back? I think he'll understand. Now get busy. <laughs> Adam, you're such a Grinch. Oh boy. There, Adam, all finished. 
Aw, oh, it was just a text from my mom. <gasps> but she wants me to invite everyone from the barn to our Christmas party. Yay, this is so exciting. Leanna, Lizzie, do you want to go to a Christmas celebration tomorrow night? Um, where is it at? Mother's making a huge dinner. Tomorrow, my house at 5. Oh, we'll definitely be there. Awesome. I'm going to go find Alice now. <gasps> Wait a second, Teresa. We have an idea for Toronto. What? We do? Yeah, I just thought of something. I think I know what she needs to do. Really? Well, what is it? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Good night, Sparks. You are a crazy thing today. Ugh. Is it safe to come out, guys? Um, yeah. Okay, here I go. <gasps> the fence. Why is it glowing? <gasps> and the trees. Oh my goodness. Poor guy. Must have serious issues. Oh, hey guys! Hey Alice, we are grooming Galaxy. I'm gonna put him back into the pasture. Okay, he's all clean now. Come on, buddy. It's getting dark out so early. Yeah, but isn't the barn just so pretty at night? It's beautiful. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Teresa. Well, our mom should be here any minute to pick us up. Yep, mine too. <sighs> I just love when the barn's all lit up and decorated at night. Yeah, me too. But my favorite thing is definitely the snow. Oh yes, rolling in it is the best. Yeah. Oh, I better go to sleep now. All right, good night, Flax. Good night, Miss Ruby. Pretending to be the orphan foal's mum now, are we? Um, no. Uh -huh. Right. Or am I? Father, what are you doing out here? It's getting dark. Hey, Teresa. I've been working on these lights all day, and I finally got them finished. Well, what do you think? They're beautiful. Mother, I'm home. Look at all these presents! Santa must have brought them early this year. He usually doesn't do that. But oh well, that's perfectly fine. Now, sweetie, you'll have to wait to open those. Mm, I know. Mmm, that was a delicious dinner. Now, I'm gonna go watch some TV. I still can't stop wondering what's in them presents. I wonder what's in them presents. I don't think I can wait until Christmas to find out. I need to know now. Father's snoring. He must be in a deep sleep. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. Ugh, I don't remember if I turned the oven off. darling what are you doing <gasps> um nothing mother you are about ready to open a Christmas present go to your room this instant yes mother you're a very naughty girl well it looks like I'll have to hide these perfect she'll never find them up here oh yes now I must go make sure I turned the oven off Mother, all the presents have disappeared. Yes, and it serves you right, too. Santa must have came and took them back because I was naughty. This is just awful. Sweetie, where are you going? <gasps> to the barn.
Oh, Jerome Todd, this is just the most horrible thing. I'll see you this afternoon, Miss Ruby. You have a good day, Flax. Good morning, Leanna, Lizzie. Good morning, Sarah. Have you seen Teresa anywhere? No, not that I can recall. Well, we'll keep looking. She has to be around because her car is here. Let's go check in the main barn. There you are, Teresa. Wait, why are you wearing a blanket at the barn? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is everything okay? No, Santa came early, but then I was naughty and he came back and took all the presents away. Oh, well, um, don't worry, Teresa. I'm sure everything will be all right. Yeah, why don't you come practice with us, Teresa? We have to try out our idea, and riding will make you feel better. You're right, Lizzie. I'm going to go put this blanket in my car. Teresa's 17, and she doesn't know the truth about Santa Claus? I guess not. Well, let's get our horses ready. Let's warm up, and remember, Teresa, if Toronto does anything naughty, tell her no in your really stern voice. Well, I'll try. You have to. She gets away with everything. Come on, Toronto, darling. Trot, trot. <laughs> yeah, I am not doing that. Now be stern. Tell her she has to do it. Uh, all right. Come on, sweetheart. It'd make Mommy so happy if you trotted. Uh, Teresa, that is not even close. You need to be in charge. Okay. Tronta, trot this instant or you'll have no carrots tonight. <gasps> no carrots? She's never talked to me like that before. You're such a good girl. <laughs> Ow! What did she do that for? I trotted the way she wanted me to, so I'll get my carrots. And now she'll cry and we'll go on tack. Oh my goodness, what a mean plan. Leanna, this isn't going to work. I'm going to go on tack. No, Teresa, you have to get back on and keep trying. If not, then she's getting away with being naughty. Again. Maybe, maybe I can just hire a trainer to come work with her. Teresa, you need to train her. It's your horse, and she needs to learn to behave for you. Okay, I'll get back on. I just hope I don't have a broken arm for Christmas. What? She's not giving up? You can do it, and we'll be here to help you. Toronto, that was a dirty move, so you still don't get your carrots until you do it properly. I can't believe this. I need my carrots. Yes, Teresa, that was so good and a beautiful trot. Thanks, I can't believe I did that. That was awesome. See, never give up. Come on, Storm, we need to get warmed up so we can try. Yeah, us too. Come on, Buck. Sparkle, that monster of yours attacked my baby again. Minnie, you have gone too far. No one calls my colt that. Sweetie, go play with Dusty. Mommy and this mare are going to have a very long conversation. Yes, we are. Jericho, go play with Flax. And here they go again. I wish for once we could all just play together. I know, but you're really lucky. You have a mom that cares so much about you. Yeah, but I just wish for once I could play with Snowball without her freaking out. <laughs> hey, it's Ruby. Hi. Hello, Flax. Having a good day? Yeah, pretty good. Come on, Ruby. What are you stopping for? Aw, uh, I was hoping we could talk longer, but Sophie wants to go for a ride. 
I'll see you tonight. All right, goodbye. Here's your carrot, sweetie. That was the best ride we've had in weeks. Thanks to Leanna and Lizzie. Ugh, I'll have to come up with something new now. All the horses did so good today. We're gonna have so much fun at the event tomorrow. What? This event's tomorrow? Yeah, it said that right on the entry form. I didn't even look at the date. I I, I can't do this. I haven't had enough time to practice. What? No, Teresa, you can do this. Just don't let her get away with any of her naughty tricks and you'll be fine. Yeah, all you have to do is trot a nice, clean pattern and just have fun. Okay, yeah, you're right. We'll just take it nice and easy. Ah, there you girls are. Leanna, Lizzie, the paddock seed mocked. And here's the broom, Teresa. This barn needs swept. Seriously? Sweeping again? Well, you could muck stalls with Stephanie. Ugh, give me the broom. And you give me the phone. What? Don't worry, I'm only joking. But remember our conversation yesterday. I want you sweeping, not texting. Oh, and by the way, did Santa ever email you back? No. Well, I'm sure he's a busy man. We'll see you later, Teresa. Okay. Oh, and that reminds me, my Christmas is ruined. Where is that wheelbarrow? Oh, there it is in the barn. Oh, hey, Alice. Hey, Leanna, Lizzie. Wait, is that a stocking? Yeah, I'm going to hang it on Sparks' stall and stuff it with his favorite treats. <gasps> That's such a good idea. Tomorrow we'll definitely have to bring stockings for our horses, too. Come on, Sparks. I want to show you your stocking. Sparks, you silly horse, why are you afraid of everything? Because everything is dangerous, and now my stall won't even be safe. <coughs> How dare you call my colt a monster! Oh, I can't take it anymore. This is ridiculous. I am the leader of the pasture, and enough's enough. There will be no more squabbling about this. But her coat is mean to mine. Oh, Snowball is not. What do you call pinning him onto the ground? I call it colts being colts, and goodness gracious, they're just playing. You two are just so overdramatic. Guys, let's play follow the leader while our moms are fussing. No. Oh. They are kind of cute when they're all together. I, I suppose Buttermilk's right. We probably look pretty ridiculous. Yes, if you think about it, they'll be stallions before you know it. Oh, I don't want my baby to grow up. Why can't he just stay little forever? If only that's how it was. Oh, come here, my baby boy. Are you mad at me for playing with Snowball again? Because he never hurt me. Oh, no, sweetie. You can play with Snowball. I love you very much, my little one. Oh, if only I had a mom to love me. Hurry up, everyone. In the car, mom's cooking a huge dinner. We can't be late. Okay, I think everybody's in. You really need a bigger car, Teresa. Lizzie's sitting on my lap, and we have people standing. It's fine. Just keep your arms and legs from sticking out of the windows. Oh, and Leanna, don't sit on my phone. Mom, everyone from the barn is here. Oh my goodness. I didn't know there'd be so many of you. Um, make yourselves at home. Honey, what are you making? It tastes delicious. Jim, stop eating things and find some more chairs. I need to get started on some more rolls. Well, I'm going to turn on some Christmas music. Wow, this tree is beautiful. 
I know, but it's just missing presents. Do you need any help with dinner, Mrs. Morgan? Oh, thank you. It'd be such a help. And Jim, get your fingers off the cake and go find the chairs. Yes, ma'am. Come and get it, everyone! Sounds like the wind's picking up. Yeah, I wonder if it's snowing. Do you think all the humans are gone? I think they left a while ago. Oh, good. Finally. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Crystal, how did you do that? Do what? Open your stall. Oh, that's easy. I've been doing it since I was a wee filly. <gasps> Please do me. And me too. No, do me first. Wow, you're amazing, Crystal. Well, we're all out. Now what do we do? <laughs> Ruby, that's simple. Let's have a party. Yes, great idea. Yes, I know. If we just had some music. <gasps> the radio! This is exciting. I've never done anything like this before. Me either. Well, come on, sweetie. It looks like the other horses are heading into the arena. I have a great idea. The Jimkaya event's tomorrow, so let's have some fun and get some extra practice in. I don't need to practice. I'm already so good at it. Well, I'm up for a few practice runs. Do you hear music coming from the main barn? Yeah, I do. How did you do that? Crystal taught me. It's getting nasty out there. Hey, it's a party. And they're doing Jimkaya? Yeah, we're getting an extra practice for tomorrow. Oh, we're not going to be in the event tomorrow. That's okay, you can be in this one. What kind of music is that? Uh, it's Christmas music. Yeah, if we're doing Jim Kaya, we need something a little different. So, is, um, Ruby kind of like your mom now? Oh, um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably just like a little pest to her. You know, I'd say you're the pest. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice talking to you, Dronta. But I wonder if Ruby thinks of me as her filly. She could adopt me, and then all my dreams would come true. Bye, guys. We'll see you around. All that running made me tired. It must be very late, too. Yeah. Um. Uh, Ruby? Have you ever thought of me as your filly? Oh, sweetie. All the time. Really? Yes, I always wanted a full of my own, but never had one. Well, I think of you as my mommy. Well, then that's what I'll be. Good night, mommy. Good night, sweetie. Here, Mrs. Morgan, let me help you with all them dishes. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. Oh, I'm so clumsy. <coughs> oh, it's okay, kitty kitty. Oh dear, the beautiful Christmas tree. Oh, that bad cat. Oh, Wiggles, you know Mother didn't mean that. Ugh, give me a hand, Adam, and we can pick this thing back up. There, just put the bulbs on, and it'll be like it never happened. Mother, I have to take everyone home soon, but there's a huge snowstorm outside. Now, darling, it can't be that bad. Oh my goodness! It would be very unsafe to drive through that. Jim, I think you're gonna have to dig the sleeping bags out of the attic. Are you sure you're comfortable enough in here? I think we will be. 
Mother, Leanna and Lizzie are going to sleep on the extra bunk in my room. All right, Teresa. Jim, we need more wood for the fire. Ah, isn't this fun? All of us having a sleepover. Um, Teresa, how much longer are you going to play on your phone? I can't sleep with the light it makes. All right, just let me check Instagram. Thank you for the wonderful dinner and letting us stay at your house. You're welcome. It was fun having you all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Goodbye, Mother, Father. Bye-bye, <coughs> sweetie. Thanks for stopping at my house, Teresa, so I can get this stocking for Storm. Sure, cute idea. Actually, I didn't come up with it. It's originally Alice's idea. Leanna, Teresa, come on. We need to get the horses fed and then we can set up for the event. Okay, Adam, we're coming. <coughs> I know you're hungry. Stephanie's coming with your feed. There you go. All the horses are fed. Goody, now I can hang this stocking on Storm's stall. There, looks perfect. It looks like Adam's getting the arena set up. We better get our horses ready. Okay, that's a good idea. Come on, Storm, we can do this. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous, Teresa, just have fun. Hey guys, I know I haven't been at the barn in a really long time, but I heard there was a gaming event and that's just right up my alley. Aw, oh, great, it's Steve. Wait, is there English writers doing this? Gaming is for Western only. Steve, Jim Kaya normally is a Western discipline, but since this event is just for fun, everyone, both Western and English, is participating. Now find a spot to wait your turn. Fine, but it's going to be really funny when these English writers go slipping out of their girly saddles. Our first event is the Candy Cane Race, and our first rider is Emily and Ruby. <laughs> Emily has a time of 15.44 seconds. Such a good girl, Ruby. Yay, Mommy! Next up will be Alice and Sparks. Oh no, I can't do this. <laughs> Easy, Sparks. I would never lead you into anything that would hurt you. You have to trust me. Oh, maybe it's not as scary as it looks. Good boy, Sparks. You did it. And Alice has a time of exactly 16 seconds. Yay, Alice! Ugh, they're so slow. Next will be Steve riding Dinah. Finally. Yeah! Whoa! Ugh, ugh, how embarrassing. Well, it looks like he's okay, but that'll be a disqualification for Steve. After we get the barrel set back up, our next horse and rider will be Teresa and Toronta. Oh, I don't think I can do this. I feel sick. Just relax. It'll be fun. <laughs> I know just what to do to mess this one up. Okay, Toronta. Slow and steady wins the race. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What a spectacular time of 10.20, bringing Teresa up to first place. I did that? I thought I was going to fall off. I had my eyes closed. How did I grab the candy cane? Yes, go Teresa. Wow, that was good. Who is that anyway? That's our friend Teresa. She's so good. She can do it with her eyes closed. Oh, she was supposed to fall off. All right, good job today, everyone. Now it's time for our awards. In fourth place for Candy Cane Race is Stephanie and her Stallion Fury. 
Good job, Stephanie. Third place is Lizzie and Buck. Second place is Leanna and Storm. And first place and grand champion is Teresa and Toronto. <gasps> Toronto, we won! Hey, congratulations, Teresa. Thank you. We could have never did it without you and Lizzie. Hello, Teresa, sweetie. Mother, father, what are you doing here? We were able to get off work early to come see your show. But I guess it wasn't early enough. Oh, I wish you could have seen it. Toronto was flying. We won champion. Oh, that's wonderful. Did you remember to keep her collected at the canter? Oh, Mother, this wasn't dressage. I'll tell you all about it while I'm untacking. You're such a good girl, Toronto. All right, Jim, now go get it. Uh, get what? The gift from Santa. Now hurry. Oh, yes, right. Oh, Storm, this ribbon looks perfect with your stocking. Good boy, you deserve carrots. Teresa, Santa brought you an early Christmas present. Really? For me? Open it up, sweetie. <gasps> A brand new iPhone 11? Oh boy, that's just what she needs. Wow, that's so cool, Teresa. Thank you so much, Santa. This is the best Christmas ever. Not just because I got a new iPhone, but because I'm with my family and friends. 